Have you ever thought about what your core values are? What makes life worth living? You know, most of us set goals that focus on an outcome instead of a goal that brings us immense fulfillment. Well, the why always wins over the what because the why gets you up in the morning. It's your passion. It's your purpose. It's your values all wrapped up into this one beautiful package. And essentially, the why ignites your passion. And when you're passionate about something, it ignites your creativity. And then the willpower kicks in and it's amazing because the why will even sustain you during those adverse times, during those challenging times. Well, I want to share a story with you that I don't talk about very often, totally up close and personal. I um, used to hate my body. And I know it's a strong word, but it's how I used to feel until I had the courage to do something about it. And it happened in my late 20s. I realized that in my late 20s, I wanted to get into shape and I wanted to do something about what, what I didn't care for. And I realized I had a high value around mental, spiritual, and physical health. That deep down, when we have a challenge sometimes, it means there's something we want to make happen. We constantly think about it. Well, the opposite is to turn the coin over and do something about it. And when I go back and look, look at my, you know, what it was like growing up with a, a, a father that was really athletic and two brothers that were athletic, I just wasn't. And my dad would say, gosh, you're just not athletic. You know, why aren't you athletic? You know, you're just, you're the black sheep. And he used to joke about it. I used to kind of joke around like it didn't matter. But deep down, it really bothered me. And later in life, I did a bodybuilding show. And I realized that what I loved about that show was challenge. I loved the achievement. I loved the integrity with myself. Nobody told me that you know, I had to get on a cardio machine or show up for posing practice or eat my uh, ideal number of carbs. I loved the discipline and I loved the value around aesthetics and beauty. Well, values are innate for you. And you're probably thinking, what is a value? Well, I want you to imagine that you had this magic compass to guide you through what rough spots in your life, to help you make difficult decisions and set goals for your life or your work. And imagine that this compass always pointed you in the right direction. Now, if you've ever felt totally confused in your life or your business, identifying your true values and making life choices congruent to your values will guide you in the right direction because it's true for you. Now think about navigators. Navigators have always used true north or north as a compass to guide them. Well, living by your values is your true north to keeping you on the steady, fulfilling, and authentic course. And by aligning with your goals, Hear what I'm saying? By aligning your goals with your values and referring to them when faced with decisions or the, the sense of struggle or dis, discouragement, right? Or frustration in life, you, the frustration will fully be eliminated virtually because you know yourself. So I wanna give you a fun exercise. Let's have, have a little bit of fun here. I wanna I want invite you to locate a piece of paper and a pen and in a moment, I'm gonna share several values that are common among most of us. And your role is to write down the value and give it a score on a scale of one to 10. So I want you to notice, you know, if, if the word doesn't resonate with you, you don't need to write it down, all right? Accomplishments, results. Okay, who's watching this video, right? <laughs> all of you, most likely, in this industry, have a value around accomplishments and results. Power. And sometimes you have to test your assumptions. Some of you not, might not even realize you just don't like to follow. Well, you probably have a value around power. That's just your truth. Privacy or solitude. Now that's one of my top 10 values. And if I don't, I might seem like an extrovert, but if I don't have my privacy time and my solitude time, I am not as effective in my extrovert roles, all right? Passion, responsibility, adventure, and excitement. 
Those of you that love to play, your friends know you're really playful, you love recreation, right? That's gotta be a high value for you. Adventure and excitement. Recognition. Some of you probably think it's all about you. You kind of think, gosh, I like to win these awards and I like to win these trips. Well, you probably have a high value around recognition. Altruism, helping others. For some of you, you love to contribute to others. That's a deep and big why in your life. And so when you do that, it amplifies your energy. It makes you feel good. Risk taking. You know what? Some of you, if you don't have a lot of risk, life feels kind of boring to you. Independence. High value. One of my top 10. Some of you, romance. You know, you're constantly thinking about your partner, your spouse. You want to spend that time. You love the whole experience, you know, that's a high value for you. Clarity, my number one value. I know that if I feel clear, my life is great. Clarity is everything for me. Well, this is about you, right? So we're talking about you. Clarity, security, commitment. Thinking of my mama. My mama just has a high value around commitment and responsibility. Self-expression, one of my other top 10 values. Community. You know, some of you, you th that's how you think. My family, my community, my church, my um, wor um, workspace, my, you know, you think community. And that means that's a high value for you. Completion, service and contribution, connecting and bonding. I have several clients that, man, that's like their highest value. They want to connect with people. Spirituality, compassion trust, creativity, vitality. Notice the words that are resonating with you. Balance, emotional health, self-mastery. That's kind of one, emotional health, self-mastery. Another high value for me, freedom, fulfillment, fun. Values are words that resonate with you. It's got to resonate with you. And nobody defines this but you. Leadership, personal growth, learning, organization, nature, partnership. So here's your challenge. Review your value list. And I want you to choose your top five. Which five got the highest score? and then write them on the top of a three by five card and write about what that value means to you and why it's important to you. And then I wanna challenge you to schedule one hour and create an ideal environment, you know, your favorite beverage, and learn more about how you're wired up, how you think, and what's really important to you. And I wanna hear from you. So visit our Facebook page, share your takeaway, Steve Wiltshire, Lifeline Coaching and Education. And I want you to know I'm so honored to be on this path with you. Let's create your greatest year ever in your life, personally and professionally, this coming 2014. Love and success.